Start recording. Stop recording button. Hello there and welcome to the Target World podcast where the first video today, there will be quite a few as I'm a bit behind with videos here, we'll be discussing the fantastic Dexter Fletcher film Rocket Man, a brilliant biopic of the life and times of Elton John. Uh, this is a film that uses very clever musical tricks, you get bits of his songs from uh, later in his life to explain his torment of being a child where he basically his parents didn't really love him to be honest, um, his mother had a very interesting outlook on him and his father couldn't cope and went off and had a second family and would never hug him, would never show him love. So there's a great bit where he, he integrates I Want Love, this is a later Elton John track when he's a child. There's lots of cool bits um, with uh, Elton and uh, also the great Jamie Bell as his uh, writer and best friend. Uh, those are really cool bits well, as Bernie Tolpin. Uh, and then we have the um, fantastic um, Richard Madden as his really nasty manager and lover who persuades him into doing a lot of stuff. But it's just the great torment of, you know, how do you cope with being gay back in that time period? And there's just these one bits with his mother. You really want to murder her, basically. You know, he's about to do a really important show of his career and he phones up and tells his mother he's gay. And she just basically says, you'll never be loved. You know, what an absolute body swipe that would have been to him and other people gay at the time. You know, it just shows how things have really changed, thank God, for the better. So it's a fantastic film. Um, it is done by the same people who did Bohemian Rhapsody, and I love that film as well. I finally saw that recently. Um, but there's so many good things. There's these great set pieces where, you know, Alton goes running through a fair with um, Saturday nights or right for a fight as the music. And, you know, it's just some really beautiful bits of music. There's torment. You see him um, try and kill himself by jumping into a swimming pool, and you see how his younger self persuades him to get better and there's the whole therapy stuff and it, it's just beautifully shot there's lovely bits of music and there's some really good performances from everybody around it um Stephen Graham who plays the guy who runs the record company is just fantastically funny and it. it's beautifully shot there's some beautiful set pieces it is emotional I cried an awful lot for it I might not cry a bit these days but it's a beautiful film it has lots of themes it's just well worth seeing it's a stunningly good film that deals with loss, tragedy and how you rebuild yourself and Elton has definitely done that over the years and you know, he's a great family man now and he has this great concert seems to be going forever mm. going to try and get tickets because I think it ought to be a one-off yeah so go and see it it will look pretty damn amazing if you can go to an iMac version if not find a 4k screen as it looks great on that I saw it at the pitch house in Exeter and the sound was very good there I think it's been um done by the same sound crew did Bohemian Rhapsody so I think it's all been done at Abbey Road so yeah it's well worth going to see and enjoy